Mello is money. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds. Carmelo Hayes. You hear him say it. You hear the fans say it. Mello, don't miss. Yeah, for once I agree with you, Saxton. Any goal Hayes sets his sights on, he tends to accomplish in short order. And that has only fueled Carmelo's confidence. He believes he was destined for the big time from the very start of his career. Well, he does a good job proving just that when he gets inside the ring. Carmelo Hayes looks eager to get things done. Things are about to get a little more country in here. And his opponent, accompanied by Fallon Henley from Ranburn, Alabama, weighing in at 200. In 43 pounds, Brooks Jensen. A group of superstars who are all about the good old American life. Money, glory, and fun. Mostly the money. It's a good thing for Brooks Jensen. He's no longer focused on his love life and his all business when the bell rings. He's locked in. It took him a little while to get on track, but the way he's manhandling people, Jensen's making up for lost time. Lucky for the young superstar, time is on his side. And up against him is the supremely talented, supremely confident Carmelo Hayes. The only thing more dangerous than a confident man is a man who could back it up. Hayes is damn good and he knows it. We could be in for a show tonight, fellas. Able to sidestep it. What a football. Crushing knee strike. He's going for it all. Up high. Oh, got caught. Inflicted. Brooks experiencing a bit of a setback with that maneuver. Carmelo Hayes, known for his high flying, flashy style. Obviously, that style can be very high risk, high reward, but it can also be very crash and burn. Corey, you've talked about this before. Could that style actually be a detriment to Hayes tonight? Like you said, Cole, it has all the potential to be crash and burn, but Hayes is as gifted a superstar as they come, and he knows what he's doing. He knows the risk, and he knows he's more often in store for a big reward. Great. Oh! Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off! My goodness, I think I heard something break on that crash landing. Wow! Discus clothesline! Boom! All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Mello reminding his opponent that he don't miss. Nice bulldog. DDT. Goes into the pin. And he breaks the count quickly. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Snap power slam. What an interception. Into a dragon screw leg whip. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Knees, feet, face. Mello making something so deaf. That should do it right there. He got the shoulder up in time. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. Oh 
crank in the head. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Shifts it back onto him. Jensen stopped that in its tracks. Whatever's plan here can't be good. Oh, right to the throat. Oof. Caught with a punch. And Carmelo gets these two trading one blow after another. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Turned that one around. Neither competitor is backing down. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Ooh! He's got him scouted! Brooks Jetson setting up. Muscled up with authority. Sit up, powerbomb! Is there any air left in Hayes? Oh, he kicked out. Oh, I thought that was game over. Pure guts to kick out there. Everything possible was done to win there, but it just fell short. And Hayes turning it around. Up and around we go. Tilt the world face buster. Looking for the victory. Two. And still in this. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Carmelo even more determined than ever now. This competitor is in a zone. A couple of close lines, and what? He's going for the pin. This could be it. No, stops the count at two. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Carmelo dodges in time. Placed into the corner. Close line in the corner. We knew this was going to be brutal, but didn't imagine carnage like this. Well, I guarantee no one had this on their bingo card. Boom! Carmelo putting it all on the line. He has him right where he wants him. Lift off. Oh, not what Hayes intended. And you know what's next, guys? Oh, did Jensen just close this up? Two! Oh, kick out, kick out at two. Man, oh man, what resilience. He's got to be running on instinct alone. And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. There's electricity running through this arena right now. Will it be the spark for one of these competitors? Okay, he's re-entering the ring. I am afraid of what we are about to see! Oh, man! Slick shot DDT off the apron! What's he gonna do here? Oh, that hurt! Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. As their opponent down, locking it in. This is agonizing. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. And he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. And back in the ring we go. Look at this. Oh, nice. That's good. So it's Brooks Jensen who takes the loss here. This is a tough pill for Jensen to swallow, but accepting defeat is part of this business. He has got to be hurting all over after this one.
He's got to get back on the horse after a defeat. Here comes the lone wolf. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. If you ask Baron Corbin, he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker. Ready to dominate. And his opponent from one side, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker! Breaker broke down the damn door and has terrorized the competition during his young career. Just look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition. And Braun Breaker clearly ready for this one to get underway. One of the more impressive young superstars in the company today. Oh yeah, Braun Breaker's aptitude at such an early point in his career isn't something that should be understated. Flattening his opponents is written in his DNA. Some could even say he's a genetic freak and he's not normal when he steps into the squared circle. You're right, Byron. Breaker comes into every match with the agenda of decimating his opponents. Tonight should be no different. And he's got quite the challenge in front of him as he's facing a newly refreshed Baron Corbin. We've seen Corbin go through a lot of changes and phases here in WWE, but we're finally seeing his truest self shine through. And that true self is dangerous as hell. 
Knowing that Braun Breaker was literally bred for success, that has to get in his opponent's head, right, Corey? While there's no doubt that WWE success runs deep in his veins, Breaker is still very early into his WWE career. Even with his current accolades. Oh, what's coming here? Submit. And breaks the hole, but damage has been done. Raped across the top rope. Yeah. Clubbing four. Stomping down. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Taking flight. Bang, what a splash. Is it enough? There's two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Seated on their opponent, trapping their arms to the back of the neck. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. That was just a small sample of breaker inherited ability. Uh, up to, uh oh. Finds a counter for breaker. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oof, a shot like that would counter any attack. Ah, oh, jeez. There you go, Cole. Set up. Big boot. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, he knew what was coming. That hurt. Corbin gets out of the way in time. His shoulders are down. Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Nice counter from Breaker. Oh, what impact. Oh, man. Breaker just got busted up. Taking this to the floor. He right to the midsection. Setting them up for the Falcon Arrow. Using the elbow as a weapon. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Breaker doesn't seem concerned with his opponent at all. from Breaker. Corbin did a great job to pull that maneuver off, but somehow it just wasn't enough, and now Corbin has a lot to think about. Fights back with a well-timed knee. Oh, man. These men have been giving each other such a beating. And you can see the toll of that beating taking effect with every movement. Ron Breaker setting him up for the military power slam. Does that pulls it out for Breaker? Oof, caught by surprise with that uppercut. Keeping him in position. Here it comes. Oh, flash. Play it down across the back. Oh. 
Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Caught in a bad position here. Face first. I see a cut too on Corbin after that. Ron Breaker submission all the old gets to the ropes, and that's gonna cause the ref to break the hold. Big time Falcon Air. He's going to the pin. This could be it. Heading to the pay window. And there's the win. Huge win here tonight. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker! No doubt an intimidating presence to deal with. And Valhalla has only gotten more mysterious with her connection to the gods. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Viking Raiders, Valhalla! Valhalla considers herself the ultimate hunter. And the women's division is her prey. Stalks her prey and strikes with ferocity. Every win is a trophy kill for her. Valhalla who takes her name from the place warriors go when they die. A bad sign for Valhalla's opposition. This ring is about to turn into a battlefield. And Valhalla won't settle for anything short of total decimation. One of the top names in women's independent wrestling Zoe Stark now looking to prove herself in WWE. And her partner from Las Vegas, Nevada, Zoe Stark. You know, Zoe Stark just oozes with confidence. She knows exactly how good she is. And that's because Zoe refuses to conform to anybody else's ideas of what she is supposed to be. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. The queen has arrived. And boy, does she know how to make an entrance. Hey. From the Queen City, Charlotte Belair! 
Uh, Corey, I'm sure you would agree that no one makes quite an entrance like Charlotte Flair. I completely agree, Saxon, because every time she's in the ring, it is a spectacle to behold. Charlotte Flair competed in the first women's match to main event WrestleMania and takes pride in always controlling the situation around her. There is no one better in the big moment than Charlotte Flair. As physically dominant as any superstar we have ever seen. Charlotte is always happy to send a message inside the ropes. And each step furthers her legacy. Whether you like it or not, no one can measure up to Charlotte Flair. She was bred for this business and has become the absolute pinnacle. She really is the biggest challenge there is in this women's division. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tank. Superstars in history, but she has quickly grown in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. Apologetic and fearless, Shotzi is ready for a fight. We we'll call it an act of defiance, or we'll call it one of delusion, but Shotzi isn't backing down. with the tag matchup the WWE Universe has been salivating for. Set for action in this competition as we begin with Valhalla. And cover! Kicks out on a pinfall attempt. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Just hot shot it to the outside. Goodness, calm down. Every strike more devastating than the last. Oh, it is. What a headbutt. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Tag is good. Uh oh. There's the backbreaker. Right across the chest. They finish each other's sentences, they finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Oh, oh. stop right to the hand. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Stop after stop. Relentless. Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. I'm not sure she can escape by this. Hey, yes, she does. Turns the tides. Ooh, right to the arm. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Jumping clothesline! What agility! Able to interrupt the attack. Yes, tag! Oh! 
torturous focus on the leg in the corner. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. So ruthless. And will this be it? And she's not done yet. She shows that she's far from finished. <laughs> Caught with that sharp elbow. Kick to the body. Oof. Pounding the bread basket. Tagging her partner in. And what's this manager looking for under the ring? She has no business down there. Well, Hollow was waiting on that. on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. There's a tag. This competitor has such a deep arsenal, we're about to see more of it. Springboard, head scissor, incredible. Mahala perhaps realizing this won't be the easy hunt she expected. Shotzi will be dangerous if she can keep dishing out offense like that. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Oh, I didn't go as planned there. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. And Shotzi reverses it. Oh, what a fall! That's gonna hurt. She got her down. Is this it? A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. And Shotzi didn't see that coming. What impact! Valhalla in a state of distress. Like a tank, Shotzi is steamrolling here. She gets it! Oh man, targeting the leg. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. Catches the kick. Quick back elbow detours that offense. Set out Matt Slam. Ooh, what a forearm claw. Face first off the knee. She's forced onto the defensive now. Oh, gets put into the barricade. And huge burning lariat. Six. A little cockiness from start. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Gets out of it with a well-placed knee to the face. Comes out on top in this tag team match. Here are your winners. The team of Valhalla and Zoe Stark. And with the ref's count, this match has ended. This match ending by countout is not satisfying to the WWE Universe. I think they may demand a rematch.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the NXT Women's Championship. Guys, it is time for a Tiffany epiphany. Tiffany Stratton, ready to dominate the competition. Stratton has an amazing gymnastics background. She even competed on the U.S. national team. She sprang her way into WWE after that and has never looked back. We've learned very quickly that it's always Tiffy time in WWE. <laughs> Tiffany Stratton ready to put the rest of the division on notice. And who's going to stop her? She is the one they have called the future of the women's division. Go, go, go. Winner of the first ever women's breakout tournament in NXT. And she's held tag team gold and the NXT Women's Championship. But it still feels like she needs to prove herself as a top dog in all of WWE. Perez is so beloved because she works relentlessly to make her dreams come true. There is no quit in this young woman. Just endless fight. You can see it in the eyes of each individual. Only razor sharp focus when this much is on the line. <laughs> Tiffany Stratton hasn't exactly made many friends in the women's locker room. But as far as she's concerned, the only friends she needs are championships and accolades. Yes, yeah, Stratton was born with a silver spoon in her mouth and is used to getting just what she wants. We'll see if she can get just that here tonight. And she'll be taking on the seemingly endless perseverance of Roxanne Perez. We've seen what Perez is capable of and what she's able to withstand. At this point in her career, I think she's earned the nickname The Prodigy. Just disrespectful. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. Big splash. And that is not supposed to look that easy, ladies and gentlemen. Great reaction from Perez. Taking this outside. This could be good. Oh, that was just malicious. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. Just no respect for the champ shown there. Oh, oh my God, God. what a slap. That's Disrespect. A... Watch out, they're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? Three. You gotta be careful not to get disqualified. Four. 
Corey, there's no lack of confidence when it comes to Tiffany Stratton. How can her opponent shake that out of the buff beauty? Well, Tiffany certainly is a physical specimen. We've definitely seen her tantrums get the better of her. If you can control the match and set the pace, that'll surely frustrate her. And it's hard to be confident when you're frustrated, Cole. Assaulting the knee with purpose. Oh, reversal catches Tiffany. Big knee to the midsection. Yokes up their opponent. Sidewalk slam delivered. And it's a kick out at one for the defending champion. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Spectacular athleticism. Anything Perez is trying is being suppressed. This is where Roxanne will be tested. Going up high with the punch. Elbow throw saying not today. Uh-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Reversal. What a counter. There it is. Boom. Nice. A discus clothesline. Decapitating. Splash. It's hard enough to do a moonsault from the ropes, but standing next to your opponent? Now that's something else. Tiffany looking for the high risk move. We're gonna finish it off. Nobody home for that one. Oh my gosh. Terminating knee smash. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like Perez is loading up. Roxanne Perez looking for Pop Rocks. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Challengers survive that by the skin of their teeth and don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now The heaviest artillery has been used, but it's not enough for the three oh, Drop kick right on the money oh, oh, oh. Attack to the midsection. Perez is taking over here. Yeah, as we can see, Tiffany's opponent's been able to control the tempo here. Stratton's gotten frustrated, and it is costing her greatly here. Now Stratton looking for some momentum. Could be what Tiffany needed to ignite a rally. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, man. man. A bad place to be for the challenger. There's been plenty of shoulders down. Championship on the line! But the ref isn't even paying attention. Never mind what you're doing. Make the count. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Tiffany is being taken full advantage of now. Roxanne is backing up every word right now. Stunning display of power. Get her answering back. Quick return to the ring. Perez setting her sights and what? Oh, she'd had enough of that. Oh, oh my God. Perhaps thinking something else here. Not sure why, though, Michael. She seemed to have it really oh. cinched in. Boom! <laughs> Clearly waiting for that. Check your face after that one. She goes back inside the ropes. 
Referee's count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. Series of elbows looking at... Create separation, she does so. myself the same question. I have no idea. Hazardous position as Stratton gains her footing. <laughs> Roxanne Perez with pop rocks. Can it be? Will the rain continue? What a title defense by Roxanne Perez. Here is your She came in the champ. She's leaving the champ. What a reassuring victory for her tonight. The champ proving why she's at the top once again. The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade! As far as Cora is concerned, no one measures up to her. She's on another level. And you know what? I think she might be right. She has a thorny and jealous attitude, that's for certain. And she's always ready to pick a big fight. Cora Jade is hoping to make a statement here tonight. And that statement is, you can't handle the generation of Jade. There is a chill in the air. The arrival of the bewitching duo, and Fire and Dawn. And her partner, accompanied by Isla Dawn, from Glasgow, Scotland, Elba Fire! Fire and Dawn, not a team you want to cross. Have no problem cursing the competition like actually casting curses. Now, you know, Cole, I heard Saxton actually had a full head of hair before he met Alba and Isla. Hey, I still do. A lot of it. The Unholy Union, as dangerous as they are disturbing. Fire and Don ready to conjure up a win. Look out! 
Here comes the history maker, the man, Becky Lynch. I'll tell you what, you cannot understate what Lynch has meant to sports entertainment and to women everywhere. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch! She is as tough as they come. Yeah, Becky Lynch has had to overcome countless challenges in her career, both in and out of the ring. You know, she's the first female competitor to hold two world titles at the same time. Becky Lynch, a woman who's done it all, yet continually improves herself with every match. And that means that every time the man competes, we are seeing her at her best. One of the all-time greats in the women's division, the Empress of Tomorrow. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Byron, you are definitely not ready for Asuka. Oh, hold on, Michael. Maybe on a good day. No, not on your best day. But for once, there's no shame in that, Saxton. No one is ready for Asuka. Oh, uh, can I finish my thought? I know you're scared. I get excited when I see Asuka. I'm sorry, Corey. Continue. No, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Maybe you can borrow Asuka's mask, Byron. Anyway, she's a women's Grand Slam champion. Raw women's title, SmackDown women's title, NXT women's title, women's tag team title. Asuka marches to her own drum in life and in the ring. A lethal striker. By the time her opponent knows what hit him, it's too late. Time to test how well these superstars work together. It's a good old tag team match. Taking part in this one, we have Cora Jade and Alba Fire. And across from them, they will be squaring off with Becky Lynch and Asuka. These teams have scouted each other very well. They've probably identified the weak link in their opposition. Likely going to want to isolate and punish that single individual. Oh. This is agonizing. The deathlock is in. Oof. Chicken wing applied with the half Nelson, driven down hard. And Becky anticipated that. Fast press, fast press, fast press. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Oh my God, they first right into the buckle. Extending their opponent's arm out. Oh man, leg drop arm breaker. position here. Oh, that's how you... Her shoulders are down. Raises the shoulder before the one count. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Lands in the drop zone. Party's over. Good night. She faked her out. She kicks out with authority. Could be in search of a second win now. Delivers the knee. 
And Jade's toughness being put to the test. Yeah, Becky delivering the pain. And that was a well-executed attack. Inverted face lock into an elbow drop. Look ringside now, guys. This manager is doing something very suspicious. Okay. Becky connects. Oh, strong knee connects. She's going up. Top rope here. Oh, my God. Big mistake there, Corey. Well, she knows that now. Wrist clutch applied. Look at this. Oh, ripcord slam. Set time. Lights out here. Oh, no, maybe not. She breaks the count quick. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. She saw that one coming. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Legs caught. Uh oh. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Oh, Cora stopped that in its tracks. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Set all the way to the outside. And she slides her back to the mat. Alma got bottled up there. Oh, saw it coming. She had it scouted. Face plant. by Becky Lynch. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this. How pretty is this? Face buster. Punch. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. And Lynch falls victim to some big impact there. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that. From the top, diving double axe handle. Avoiding contact. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Schoolboy. Wait, no! Into a power. Placing them into the corner. Tag made. Up top. Oh, no! Double stop right across the spine. Got the tag. Got the tag. Oh! Oh! Oh, across the top rope. to the body. Corey oh, Jade with a double arm DDT. Can Jade close things up? Air the lock applied. It's next. Oh, my. Sit out, spine buster. Still only got one. I'm happy she did. I don't want this match to end. Evil to reverse. Party's over. Good night. She faked her own. And she thwarts the pin attempt in one. Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. Just a barrage of stumps. Ooh, she just turned it around. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Kick to the back. Isolating their opponents arm and oh! Delivering nasty stumps. She's tagged in. 
Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. She's enduring some damage. That innovative style of Alba paid off. There's press and added damage. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Springboard off. Becky in full control here. Manhandle slam. Fires down and she might be out. Four oh. to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. And look at Lynch going to the top rope. Flying. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Gets out of dodge with a sweep. Partner tags in. Alba Fire digging deep into the arsenal here. The Gory Bomb. Is it enough? The cover. You have to sense that fatigue is starting to become a factor at this point. Make no illusions of it. This is coming down to a battle of attrition. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Ooh. Catches the leg. Windmill kick. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. <laughs> Stellar kicks to the body. Stunning kicks by the Empress of Tomorrow. There's no superstar quite like Asuka. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Listen to this crowd. What a feeling. And these superstars are feeling it too. Referee's count stopped. She stays in this. Just barely, Cole. Unbelievable athleticism. This pairing pain, strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. Chemistry on point, teamwork looking sharp. For my money, this is the best women's tag team around.
The long boats have landed. The Vikings are here. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 552 pounds. The NXT Tag Team Champions, Ivar and Eric the Viking Raiders. Hard to stop this in terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty scared. And nobody's surprised at that. And their opponents, first, from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Brunson. The Kaiju of WWE, Big Bronson Reed. He has been on an absolute tear as of late. Well, we've seen him beat some big names, compete in some major matches. I think it's just a matter of time before Bronson really hits it big. Gentlemen, Big Bronson Reed is ready to claw through the competition. And I don't think anyone can stop him. Come on high. Wow. One of the very best to ever do it. Shawn Michaels. From San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak King, Shawn Michaels! The passion that Shawn Michaels has for this business is truly indescribable. Being in the ring is heaven on earth to him. Michaels loves this industry. He loves the competition. He loves the fans. And they love him back. He's given so much, done so much, and the fans thank him for it.
The Viking Raiders looking to make their presence known in this match here tonight. Uh, I don't think their presence is ever questioned, Cole. From their entrance to the ring of the bell, the Viking Raiders are all gas and... Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook. Force... Muscling his way out of the submission. Spatula, we have a human being to scrape up. Denying the attack from Michaels. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Big cross body. Off into the pin. And he manages to kick out in one. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Just cranking the head. Punishing stretch. That could produce a dislocation or at the very least, a pinched nerve. Oh, and an elbow caught him and cleared him to the floor. Being carried around with ease. Oh, driven face first into the apron. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. Powerful takedown. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Oh, man. Gets the tag. Uh-oh, pulling the hair into a mat slam. What a shot. Oh, man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. Brutality. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Oh, they're just punishing their opponent now. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Power slam. And that has to bring Eric down a peg. Bronson Reed putting that throwback strength of his to good use. Tag is made, and here we go. Uses the edge of the knee. Looking for a high-risk move. to make a statement. Toss back into the ring. Guided down with force. Now that'll do some serious damage. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh. Right in the face. My God. Reed is getting picked apart right now. Yeah, Ivar is appearing unstoppable. Setting up. Suplex. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. He thinks he has it. Power right out in one. Showing his determination there with that kick out. And Ivar with a wherewithal to counter. Tag made. Double team coming. This is going to be nasty. For Ragnarok. Can Ivar close things out? Tomo he keeps his team in the match. Oh, and an elbow caught. Sky high. Evades their offense.
this fight. This feels so unsafe. Oh! Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. With the counter. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. It's that time. The pin drop! And it's a double count out. Not the way we wanted to see this end. The following contest is a last man standing match and is for the NXT Championship. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. Drew Gulak well versed in every submission hold in the book. And from what I hear, every one of them hurts. Yeah, the lights can go out with just one move from Drew Gulak. A true broad street bully. With eyes full of wrath and fury, here comes Ilya Dragunov. Absolutely unbridled aggression every time Dragunov competes. There's something beautiful and destructive in the style of Ilya Dragunov. Yeah, Corey, it's like he leads the WWE Universe in a wonderful symphony and is ready to make beautiful music in that ring. Introducing the challenger from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak! And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 100 
and 87 pounds, the NXT Champion, Ilya Dragunov! A title coveted by legends and hungry young talent alike. You think about every time you knock your opponent down in a last man standing match, every time you wait for that referee to count, you got plenty of time to plan your next move. Forget planning your next move. Most of these superstars are just trying to catch their breath. Which begs the question, does a superstar with the best cardiovascular conditioning have the advantage here? Uh, sometimes, but what's more important is having the fortitude to withstand a beating and keep getting up. Yeah, definitely no substitute for toughness in a last man standing match. Landing a big hit with that hammer. Black side steps. Hooked it, driven down hard with a urinagi. Power bomb. A soul crushing power bomb like that sends a clear message. I'm coming for your title. Catches Gulak. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Setting up for something here. Ooh, getting playing the trachea. Watch out, suicide dive. A roll of the dice, and it pays off in full. Shot to the chest. That shot on Gulak did not miss. Dragunov really bringing the fury there. position to be in right now. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, kick. Nasty kick. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? And gets tossed back into the mat. No clue what he hopes to find down there. Clearly thinking a steel chair is what's needed right about now. Ooh. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. Here we go. Lands the splash. Someone knows that if they want to hold gold at the end of the night, they have to pull out all the stops. Soaring. Uh -oh. oh, and he doesn't connect. Oh, 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 what a nasty knee lift. Uh-oh. Here's the pin. Title on the line. I thought I'd seen some incredible rivalries in my time, but this might take the cake. Yeah, this has redefined the meaning of bad blood. On a molecular level, they are incompatible. They utterly and completely detest each other. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Oof, back elbow puts a stop to things. Tossed with ease. Hooked up. Diddy. Messing with him, clearly trying to force an error. Beats the 10 count. Going to push on through the match. Dragon screw. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man, the referee just 
counted to seven. He stands up and stops the ref's count. You can't keep him down. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Gotta hurt. Making sure the champ will have difficulty carrying anything. this fight. That stops the count, so this match will roll on. Down on the net with reckless abandon. Come on, the referee was counting. Uh-oh. He came to their senses and realized the pin does no good here. He's taking this to the floor now. One, two, three, and he's up. Referee's 10 count broken. Looks like it's back to the drawing board. Stiff elbow will break that up. Dragunov fires back. the dust to the champ. He gets back into the ring. Dragunov drawing a big reaction from the crowd. Five, six, count seven. gets to seven. This is close. Heads out, he has all the time he wants. No backing down here. They really want to make sure the best man comes out on top in this one. A high impact attack from Gulak. I expect nothing less from a tenacious fighter. Gulak just rubbing it in right now. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Taking it outside the ring now. Off the barricade. Taking this one back Two, to the ring now. Three, four, five, that six, stops the count there. Better settle in for a long night, Saxton. And he's taking this to the outside now. He's heading back to the ring. One, two, three, the crowd is fired up. Gulak is fired up.
and he'll stand to break the count and keep this one going. And that holds Dragon off back. He's been placed in the corner now, and that definitely made solid impact. Two, three. Gulak with a resolve in his eyes now. No thanks to the WWE Universe. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. He steps foot in the ring again, perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. To the back of the neck, Sky Sickle. Dragon out trying to hype himself up. Trying to saving us from having a haymaker after haymaker. Oh man. So much pride. So much resiliency on display. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. What a counter. The willpower. The sheer guts of these two. Oh, and Ilya turns the tables. Ooh. Who will break? First, that is the question. Boom. Great win with all the count. Count still climbing. We're up to seven now. Trying to work the arm. Now in control. Ooh, and a shot to the body and another. Oh, caught a powerball. Dragonov being stalked. Dangerous situation. Drew Gulak has it cinched in. The Gulak apply. I'm going to tap out. But it ain't gonna matter. You still do a lot of damp tap all you want, but in this case, a surrender does not grant you a reprieve. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's seven. It's getting close. Looking to pile on more offense rather than let the count go on. Puts an end to that. Suplex! Uh-oh. Powerbomb! Almost out of control, but it doesn't matter when Dragunov is practically invincible. Dragunov is just oozing charisma right now. Referee's count has reached seven here. Getting dangerously close to the inevitable. This crowd is thunderous right now. Who can blame them? He's making his intentions known to everyone in the arena. And he has no regard for anyone else now that he has the sledgehammer in hand. Looking to do a little clanging and banging with that sledgehammer. Kick to the midsection. Could be thinking about the glory special. Yes, that's exactly what they were thinking, and it is in. Well, this isn't going to win the... Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Post it all the way up. A count of seven. Is this really it? Nine, New champion! I can't believe it! Here is your winner and the new NXT champion, Drew Gulak! He won the
the title, he earned the gold. What a stunning moment. These superstars gave everything they had, but the new champ wanted it just a little bit more.